G'day guys, Sammy Hitsky here. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a bite leader. Now bite leaders are a super useful tool to use when you're uh, trolling lures, using poppers, stick baits, to ward off all the toothy critters that want to take your lure with them. Now they're really easy to make, you only need a few components. I've got some solid rings, I've got some single strand wire, and I've got a split ring, and I've got a few pairs of pliers as well. Right, let's get to it. So first of all, we want to get our single strand wire and coil off some of that. Now we want to make this bite leader as inconspicuous as possible, so we don't want to make it too long. Just a short length to keep your mono leader out of harm's way. So I've got about probably 20 centimetres there, and I reckon that'll just about do it. Get my pliers, clip that off. Now, now we need our solid rings. Now I'm using quite large solid rings. So you can see what's going on. But you can quite easily downsize these to smaller ones uh, to make your rig even more inconspicuous. Now, grab your solid ring, put your wire through. Now this part's pretty important. So what you want to do, instead of just folding your wire around there, what you want to do is grab your pliers, hold onto there, and actually pull with your pliers. You'll see that fold through there. You pull with your pliers, and that stops the wire kinking. If you just fold in on itself, the wire will actually can, can, can become weaker. So pull with the pliers and that'll fold the wire around your solid ring like so. Now from here, I grab another set of pliers. I hold on to both parts of the wire like that. And then I use my thumb and forefinger to twist the wire around itself. Like so. And then you want to keep it nice and neat, do a couple of loose ones, and then tighten the loops right up so they stack up next to each other. Like so. So you want to use the majority of your tag end there, there's no point wasting it. But you want to leave a little bit like that, and that's how you're going to cut it off. So there is a trick to getting that wire off without using the cutters. You kink the wire, like so, and then wiggle it up and down until it breaks free. So when you wiggle it like that, it weakens the wire, and then, it's getting loose now, it just snaps off like that and leaves your tag end nice and neat. So that's one side done. Now, I reckon about there is a good spot for the next one. So I'll trim this wire up a touch. Be careful where you put all these tag ends, because these are razor sharp. You don't want to be cruising around and get one in the foot. It's no good, I've done it before. You also want to be careful of your fingers, because these ends will draw blood quick as a flash. Okay. Same thing, we want to thread our solid ring onto the wire and grab our pliers. Now these are split ring pliers, this is a handy way, they just lock in over the ring like that, plenty of grip. Now I want to pull with the pliers between my two fingers like that, pull the wire like that so it doesn't kink. Cinch the wire between my other set of pliers and start twisting it around itself. So, carefully to keep that wire away from your fingers, otherwise you're going to end up with a puncture wound. Okay, so I've got my tag end, same as before. Kink it, then wiggle up and down until it cracks off. Oh. Like so. so there we have, we've got two solid rings and a bit of wire in between them. Now, to one end, we want to grab our split ring. So grab your split ring pliers. Open up your split ring, like so. 
thread it onto the solid ring. Like so. And now you're ready to attach your lure. So I've got a little trolling minnow here. All you do is grab that split ring, feed it onto the toe point of your lure, and you now have a bite leader on the front of your lure. No more bite offs from mackerel, wahoo, or whatever. Now this solid ring here, you can attach that directly to your leader, just tie your knot directly onto there, and you're good to go. Oh, there you have it guys, ready for summer pelagics, have a good one.